Welcome in everybody. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot and this is going to be a reading for my Scorpio Collective. Channeling energies into the Scorpio Collective for the month of July. This could resonate for any major Scorpio placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, uh, and Venus. But keep in mind, timing and energy is fluid. This reading could play out at any point in time through a, the month of July. Scorpio, this reading may or may not be for you. I could also be speaking directly to you or to a cross watcher. So swap around the energies to make yourself fit. And don't cram yourself into a reading that's not meant for you. Before jumping in with the cards, I want to talk about some energies that came through in meditation. I think uh, there's been some tense, some tenseness uh, within a personal relationship that is needing to be addressed, Scorpio. So I think July is the month to improve these tensions within any relationship struggles. You may need to look for ways to improve your sense of self-approval. Do not be looking for somebody to approve your sense of self. And I do feel um, it's kind of time for Scorpios to get more in touch with uh, what it is you really need to make yourself happy. Are you actually happy, Scorpio? I think that's a question to ask yourself in the upcoming month. And I think learning to cultivate uh, your integrity is going to be one step forward into embracing freedom. So I do think get prepared for some pretty hefty radical upheavals, Scorpio, if they haven't already happened yet. Bonds from the past are going to be broken and severed and bridges are going to be burned. I was shown a bridge burning. So I feel July is a month of paying back a karmic debt and restructuring uh, your foundations. I think get ready to face your inner demons and to open up to being more genuine was another message that came through. So let's jump in with the cards, Scorpio. Um, I'm not sure if the cards are going to reflect that or not. We will see. I'm going to start off by uh, using the Tea Leaf Oracle deck, Scorpio. So I think you're going to have to take care. You're going to have to be shrewd. I think you're going to have to really be careful. Or This could uh, be a month of a huge loss, material wealth, a loss of, of wealth, a loss of money, a loss of stability. And you're likely dealing with somebody that is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. And I hate to say it, Scorpio, but... Uh, you are a fixed sign, and I have dealt with many Scorpios throughout my life, and Scorpios can be stubborn mules, just like a Taurus. Uh, no offense, and that's not uh, bad talking to Scorpio, but uh, maybe you're the stubborn person, uh, unwilling to change. There's some great big changes on the horizon either way, Scorpio. So whether you're the stubborn person or you're dealing with somebody stubborn and unwilling to change, I think um, you're going to want to be careful. This could be like total financial ruin for some of my Scorpios out there because I do feel somebody here that you're connected with is undependable, insincere, not reliable, or this could be you, and, and I kind of feel there's some big, big changes. You've likely been experiencing all kinds of winds of change since about February of, of this year. And so I think um, it's kind of time to change, to change for the better. Scorpio is the master of death, transformation, and rebirth. And so I think you're going through a transformative period. Um, they want me to mention Scorpio North Node. So this could be uh, a message for somebody with Scorpio North Node. Uh, I think it's time to embrace change. We cannot keep being stubborn, Scorpio, whether you're stubborn or the person you're dealing with is stubborn. There's likely going to be a loss that will lead to a new beginning, but it's kind of time to embrace profound life transformation and change. And maybe you will be needing uh, to reach out for some help. Maybe I'm um, dealing with a Scorpio in need of financial assistance or the person you're dealing with that's stubborn, not willing to change, might be coming asking for a handout. So you're going to want to be close up. We also get this a uh, pleasure with a close friend and plenty of material things. So this could be some type of materialistic aspect coming up to be addressed when it comes to some big, big changes. I think there's changes on the home front. There's changes financially. And it's kind of time to em embrace profound change. And I think it's going to be a journey. All right. I think you're on a spiritual journey and the energy is carrying you forward. So you're going to want to pay attention to your physical 
and your mental health um, because I, I feel romance is important to you and spiritual love is coming up to be addressed, but you kind of got to get out of this state of depression. I feel a Scorpio that's riddled with anxiety, stress, guilt, maybe worry that somebody's working against them. And let's face it, we are always our worst enemy. Uh, but spiritual love, spiritual love. And with the dog energy, I do think you have somebody you can depend upon that maybe you need to reach out and ask for guidance or assistance from. But there's some big, big changes. And you might be dealing with a stubborn ass, a stubborn mule who's blowing smoke out their ass trying to intimidate you. But I think they're insincere, they're undependable, they're unreliable. And it's kind of time to embrace change for the better, Scorpio. So let's see what else needs to come through with the Illumination Oracle deck. We're going to split the deck. Yeah, it's time to get back in control of your life. It's time to regain control of a situation that I think is spiraling. Spiraling, going down, downhill fast. And there is going to be clarity. Something is going to be illuminated in the month of July in order to give you clarity so you can kind of regain control. So... You're going to want to stay out of any obsessive thought patterns because you're definitely hitting some obstacles in the month of July. You might even be hitting a brick wall, something coming to a dead stop. Maybe you're banging your head up against the wall, but something needs to be addressed. You're hitting a wall or you've already hit the wall, and I think it's kind of time to face these challenges head on, uh, Scorpio. So let's see what else the Illumination Oracle uh, deck has to say. I think... You might be meeting somebody new, fresh, new love, spiritual love. I feel maybe you've been dealing with somebody that's not been showing you much compassion. Could be dealing with somebody that has children or maybe you have children with this person. Um, but there's some big, big changes coming and I do think it's going to hurt. I think it's going to hurt. I think there's somebody that's been dreaming about you thinking about you, um, somebody new, uh, waiting to send a message, maybe to fix something that's broken. I feel somebody's kind of been lurking in the shadows, watching you, really holding back when it comes to some passion, wanting to spend time together with you, and there's that guidance. So I think you have to kind of grieve an ending first. There is going to be a loss that will lead to a new beginning. And I think meeting somebody new, but, but you know, this change can no longer be resisted. Something's being eclipsed out of your life, and I do think it hurts. And maybe it's somebody that you've spent a long time building a foundation with, that you might have children with. doesn't have to be, or this person might have children. But whatever situation is coming up to be addressed, I do feel it has negatively affected the children. Somebody needs to get control of a situation, and I feel you're dealing with somebody that lacks empathy that really hasn't shown you much compassion and it's because they're not willing to change. They're insincere and I think it's time to embrace change because the second you do, I think somebody new is gonna be entering your life. And I think this is gonna really open up your heart. So do get ready to receive a message from somebody new, maybe an unexpected message. Uh, maybe somebody that wants to fix what's broken or maybe there's something here that's broken and it just can't be fixed. But I think it is it's time to take the rose-colored glasses off to find your passion for life again is, an, is another message uh, for my Scorpio Collective. So let's see what else needs to come through with the Quantum Energy Oracle deck. Yeah, you're stuck. Scorpios are stuck. And you kind of got to get out of the mud, out of the, out of the muckiness, and uh, you got to embrace these changes. So it is about walking the path of truth integrity, accountability. There's a Scorpio here needing to be accountable for something. Setting those those uh, intentions. Seven is the number of the mystic. We could have a mystic healer here, a Scorpio that has some mystic healing capabilities. But we're going to get three more cards and see what else needs to come through, Scorpio, before jumping in with the tarot. You might you might hear my peanuts in the background, but I think whatever's coming in, this change coming in, is to get you uh, to clear the slate. Clean slate, blank canvas, brand new beginning. So you're gonna have to start from ground zero. Um, you're definitely gonna have to start from ground zero and you're gonna have to stand in your present power. So um, have gratitude for the stuckness. When we're stuck, we're stuck for a reason. We're stuck there because there's still something left to learn in that situation. 
This is what you don't see coming. Happier times are around the corner. Joyous fun is around the corner with family, friends. I think maybe you are restructuring your entire social circle. Maybe heading towards um, some new healing connections. Um, replacing some stuck friends and colleagues that have been wearing a mask with some new supportive connections. But it's going to take courage. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take some strength to get unstuck. So I do feel there is a brand new clean slate here for, for a Scorpio that I'm connected with. But you are going to have to shift your state of consciousness. Decision time. And uh, a foundation is in focus. So a decision about a foundation, about a family. And there is going to be an event or a shakeup to kind of break you free from this stuckness in order for this clean slate. And it might require learning something new. So let's see what needs to come through with the tarot. The moon, yeah, there is something hidden when it comes to a family foundation. There are secrets here. There are fears. Gratitude. Send gratitude to the divine uh, for the lesson being learned because I do think somebody's under the veil of illusion. Things are not clear. Somebody is operating out of their shadow self, playing into fear, unfounded fear, You've been receiving the signs and the things from the divine, but you're going to have to listen to your intuition. Somebody's been, been uh, you know, avoiding listening to the inner calling. So I think get ready for a big wake-up call in the month of July, Scorpio, a revelation that will make everything crystal clear when it comes to this blank slate. Yeah, because... Um, this could be you. The King of Cups reversed is water energy, or you could just be dealing with somebody who is emotionally unavailable, unrequited love, uh, definitely somebody not trustworthy, not really devoted, not somebody that you can completely trust, lacks empathy, lacks compassion. And I feel uh, you've been in a solid relationship with this person, but they've got hidden intentions here. Um, and I think you're going to see something crystal clear. This could also be somebody that cannot get a hold of their emotions, emotions all over the place. Um, because there's definitely a foundation coming up to be addressed. So let's see what else needs to come through for you, Scorpio. I think this is going to hurt. It's going to hurt. It could be an emotional breakdown of some sort. Uh, but somebody's been closed off in the heart space. We get the nine of coins. The uh, Ten of Wands, the Seven of Cups. So there's been confusion. Uh, there's been darkness. There's been this energy of hopelessness. And it's kind of time to go into the wound to heal it. Because I do feel you're dealing with somebody very undependable, not loyal. They are not dedicated to you. And I feel it's created a time of lack. It's feeling hopeless, and I feel you're kind of stepping into maybe being single. Maybe it's time to focus on enjoying solitude, being by yourself, working hard to build a solid foundation for yourself, but it is going to require you to release a long-standing burden that's kept you under the veil of illusion in a period of disillusionment, confusion, fogginess. And I feel in this state of overanalyzing a situation which has likely got somebody in this dark night of the soul energy. But there is there is going to be a change. Breaking free from something toxic, codependent with the ego reversed. Could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Leo or a Virgo. Um, but I kind of feel it's kind of time to go out. And to choose your true family, there's definitely somebody coming in very quickly with a love offer, meeting somebody new. It's going to feel like being swept off of your feet. Could be from another water sign. But this offer coming in is going to be very sudden. Maybe a sudden new love affair, meeting somebody new. And, and I feel whatever lack of balance you got going on in your current relationship, there's a situation or a person coming in that's going to make your heart flutter again. So uh, I think get ready to address a foundation. Maybe you've been with this person for 10 years, 10 months, um, but I feel um, it was only rooted in uh, financial security. I don't, I don't see any love in any of these cards. There's no love. The only cups we got is this three cups is the overall outcome. 
And um, I feel it's kind of time to graduate, to move beyond this stuckness, to learn this lesson, Scorpio. Um, and I feel, uh, you know, you've resisted this truth, resisted moving forward because there is a magical opportunity trying to come in, but you got to stop procrastinating. You got to stop overanalyzing. Maybe you need to address some addictions or some codependencies for sure with the ego reversed. Somebody here has got a really big ego and they've not been willing to walk the, the path of integrity, accountability, the honoring path. Somebody here needs to take responsibility for a situation and then make a choice to go towards happiness. Definitely a very unhealthy foundation here. Tens are all about completions. Ten, ten. It's time to close something out because I think the longer you stay in this foundation, the more health problems are going to come up, the more stress is going to come up, and there's a need for balance in your life. If you want to come out of the dark night of the soul, you're going to have to pl make plans to protect what it is that you've already created and to be prepared. Be prepared for a shakeup. Give me one second, guys. The kids are home, guys, so pardon the interruption. <laughs> where was I? I don't even know where I was. So, oh, the Nine of Wands. Okay, so that is also my Chiron wound, and I feel somebody's really had a protective barrier around their heart, which has prevented them from truly opening up to a beautiful, loving experience. There's new romance trying to come in, Scorpio, but you're going to have to break, break free from something very unhealthy. And there is like a guardian angel watching over a Scorpio trying to push them in a new direction. And I kind of feel the perfect time for that is now. So let's take a look at this burden. Wow, right out the gate, three cards, strength reversed, the wheel reversed, and the emperor. <sighs> wow, so somebody's been keeping their foot stuck in the wheel when it comes to a new start. I feel there's been unexpected delays, unexpected challenges over and over again, um, and this resistance to positive change. There's resistance to this change, and you're definitely needing to step into your personal power. The uh, emperor is the match to the nine of pentacles, so maybe this new person coming in is going to um, be you know, a leader of some sort, Aries energy, Leo energy again, and so... Um, I think it's time to release this burden of constantly getting hit with tower after tower. That's kind of like the wheel reversed. All kinds of delays, all kinds of challenges, all kinds of obstacles to get you to make a conscious release. There could be a masculine here getting ready to take charge of a situation, stepping into independence, stepping into freedom. Structure and discipline is what's going to be needed. If you want to uh, take control of a situation, and I do think defenses are up, because I do feel there's going to be some kind of exposure when it comes to a betrayal, and it's kind of time to get a weight off your shoulders. So uh, let's see what the Seven of Cups is all about, because there's confusion here, which has led to a period of ill health and depression, confusion in a foundation where maybe it appears that you've been working well together, but it's a lie. It's an illusion. Uh, there's no happiness here. There's no truth. There's a lack of communication in a situation. Really not much left to celebrate here. And I, I don't think no matter how objective you remain, there's no clear, concise communication. <laughs> This isn't really what you love. You're not working well in this foundation. And I think you've been lying to everybody, pretending you're happy. And I feel it's kind of time to find people that you will work well together with. This confusion has kept you trapped in an illusion, feeling trapped in a situation, creating a sense of lack of confidence. And it is this feeling of, of helplessness, hopelessness with the sun reversed. And so we get this one life, right? And it's kind of time for a Scorpio here to take charge of a situation, to take action. We are never helpless. Somebody's getting ready to break free from, from a foundation where they feel 
like a prison cell. It's, it's felt like a prison cell, and there is an amazing new opportunity trying to come in. But it might require taking action and admitting like, hey, I made an unwise choice, and we always have the choice to choose another direction. So there's definitely been a lack of integrity here, a lack of communication, a lack of truth, and it's kind of time to get honest with yourself. This is not going anywhere. So let's look at this Knight of Pentacles in reverse because this person is not investing. Nope, I'm not investing. Nope, no passion left here. I want my wishes granted. So definitely somebody undependable, unreliable, insincere, ungrounded, appears to be solid and stable, but really doesn't have anything to offer. And I don't think there's any financial security here. I think the prosperity is dwindling. This is not a supportive parent, not a supportive spouse, not a good person to work with. This could be somebody that, ha you know, um, does things illegally to earn money. Um, and I feel it's, it's like uh, decision time. Somebody's about to get the rug pulled out from under them. Um, somebody's been unwilling to take those next steps to move forward. But I feel um, this partnership is no longer working. There's no enthusiasm left with the Page of Wands reverse. There's no, there's no excitement. There's no passion. It's kind of time to close this out. If you want your wishes to come true, you're going to have to trust this needs to be released. And I do feel there's also somebody here that's got no more love left to give. They're done giving compassion. I also feel a very intuitive psychic feminine energy here that's done self-sacrificing. I'm done. She's getting the insights needed when it comes to uh, caring for herself, doing what's best for her, following her intuition because she wants deep love in her life and she wants to follow her heart and her heart is closed off to this situation because of the lack of sharing, because of the lack of communication and the lies and the secrets and the lack of balance. And so I feel breaking free. So let's take a look at this overall outcome. This Three of Cups, because I feel this could be uh, a new engagement coming in, uh, but there's definitely going to be a revelation. Maybe somebody's sneaking away to a third party. Yeah, um, because somebody feels like they don't have any personal freedom. They've been losing their mind when it comes to taking action in a new direction. I do think you're going to have to be careful. This very well could mean uh, somebody trying to steal your money, a huge material loss, a thief of some sort. You're really going to want to make sure that you're being honest in all of your dealings. There's going to be an exposure here, a secret, a revelation that will make everything crystal clear, Scorpio, uh, when it comes to this lack of balance. Because there's no moderation, there's no balance, there's no more working together. The spark is gone. I do not think there's going to be a successful compromise and it's kind of time to uh, move towards uh, gaining a sense of balance. I think an unexpected departure. Quickly departing, somebody is making a very decisive decision. They're on defense. There's definitely gonna be an event or a shakeup Scorpio in July that will propel you forward with great, great speed. Um, so get ready to face some challenges, some rather emotional challenges and an unexpected upheaval when it comes to reviewing your options is kind of what I'm feeling and it's kind of time for you to turn inward. There was definitely this uh, missed opportunity in the past. Somebody got distracted. They're, they're very discontent, bored, depressed, feeling suppressed in a situation. Soul suppression is depression. So get ready for a wake up call because I think there's a Scorpio here that needs to review the past. Maybe needs to come forward and seek forgiveness. I'm not sure, but it is time to head in a new direction, Scorpio. Um, it's time to head in a new direction. Your heart already knows this. So the heart knows what it wants. And I feel you're really needing to trust in, in what the heart is telling you to do when it comes to taking actions and planning for the long-term future. It is time to take charge of a very toxic situation. Could be dealing with a Sag, a Pisces, a Cancer. We got water, we got earth, we got almost everybody here. So I think uh, trust, trust, because it's it's wake up time. Is kind of what I feel for my Scorpio collective. Let's uh, let's see what last messages uh, Spirit has in store for you. Yeah, there are obstacles ahead, without a doubt, Scorpio. You will get through this, but I feel reaching a level of emotional maturity, it's kind of time to recognize that 
a lesson has been learned. There's nothing left to learn here. And, uh, and I think it's maybe time to uh, face these challenges head on and to get yourself unstuck. I don't know that you can fix what's broken, but you can go within and learn the lesson and move towards this new energy because I feel two people in a connection, very unhappy, not emotionally available to one another, and it's kind of time uh, to accept that is kind of what I'm feeling. So let's see what else Spirit has for you. Be brave. Be brave. You can do this. And uh, it's time to, to try a different approach. So maybe this uh, Knight of Cups coming in is going to be a do-over from the past. Maybe somebody back from childhood, high school, college of some sort, uh, a younger energy, a really fresh energy. And the chance to do something over. So I think the chance to build a new foundation. What do you want to do differently this time? Because you kind of got to try a different approach. The old way, the old patterns, it ain't working. It wasn't heart-centered. And so there's also a Scorpio here that keeps pouring in, into everybody's cup but their own. What about you? You cannot fill another's cup if your cup is not full yourself. So I think uh, get ready to get to know yourself at a deeper level, Scorpio. I think a Scorpio here that's depleted, dissatisfied in all areas of, of their life. And it's kind of time to acknowledge and learn from the past once and for all. You cannot embrace the future until you heal the past. And then you're going to have to learn how to enjoy the present moment. And forgiveness is what is going to be needed. Somebody here has been deeply mistreated. And it's kind of time to move on from that once and for all. It's time to move on. And if you don't then the divine's going to come in because they got a plan at work and they're going to smack you with the tower in order for this epiphany to come through because you're dealing with people serving as a testament to your spiritual will. You have to remain in high vibration, Scorpio. You have to shine that light and you are going through a deep level of purification. It's time to break free, break the chains, break the chains of toxic, unhealthy patterns, toxic, unhealthy people, and anything that's blocking your pathway to your highest good. And that's what I got, Scorpio. I really hope this helped. I hope this resonated. If you would like to book a personal or a twin soul reading with me, I do encourage you to check out that description box below, Scorpio. And I look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you.